So we have question 26 here from the past paper link down below, and this is a probability question. Now it says Zoe and Amy are playing a board game. They each have one disc and take turns to roll a fair ordinary dice. The player moves their disc clockwise, the number of spaces shown on the dice. The winner is the first player whose disc is on home at the end of a turn. Here is the board after Amy's turn, and we can see the direction of play, which is clockwise. We can see Amy and Zoe's markers, and we can also see the home. It says work out the probability that Zoe wins within her next two turns. How can Zoe win? So we basically need to work out the probability of Zoe winning and as we can see from the direction play she basically needs to get a 3 to win or she can get a 1 and a 2 or a 2 and a 1 but she needs to get 3 over 2 turns. So when we ask ourselves how can Zoe win we can say that she can roll a 3, a 2 and a 1 or a 1 and a 2 and then to work out the probability of her winning it will be the probability of all of these added together. So the probability of her getting a 3, the probability of her getting a 2 and a 1 and then the probability of her getting a 1 and then a 2. So when we sub in the values for this the probability of a 3 is going to be 1 over 6 because it's a 6 sided normal dice then a probability of a 2 and a 1 is going to be 1 over 6 times 1 over 6 and then the probability of 1 and a 2 is 1 over 6 times 1 over 6 and when we times these out a little bit we're going to get that equal to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 36 plus 1 over 36 now when we convert the 1 over 6 to 6 over 36 that's going to give us 6 over 36 plus 1 over 36 plus 1 over 36 and then add them all together it's going to give us 8 over 36 and we can obviously simplify it. I haven't done it here. For the sake of the exam, it might be worth just simplifying it, but it doesn't say in the question, so you probably wouldn't lose any marks. So I hope that made sense. I hope that was clear. If anything didn't make sense, leave a comment or question down below. Best luck with your maths and thanks for watching.